Hi, I hope this finds you well. So today I'm going to start by reading um, just a, a part of scripture that God's been really highlighting to me over the last few days. And it's from Philippians 4, verse 4 onwards. Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. And I've been really considering that because um, over recent weeks, um, to be honest, I've been feeling very anxious at times and and not really in the best of places. And it's very easy when you get into that space to concentrate on the problem in front of you, to concentrate on the situation in front of you. Um, and it's like, it's almost like everything else goes out of the window. And I, I was thinking um, a number of years ago, a few of us used to run parenting courses um, in the church. And one of the illustrations we used for young parents was to think about their relationship with their children as being a bit like a bank account. So you were constantly putting credit into your child's emotional bank account. Things like hugs, kisses, I love you, good memories, holidays, days out, um, all sorts of things. So you were putting all this credit in. And what would happen was occasionally, as with any parenting you know, experience, there were times when you would have to make the odd withdrawal. You might have to discipline them or there might be disappointment. There might be a situation came up that wasn't um, a terribly happy one. But if you'd already built up that healthy emotional account with them, then the odd withdrawal was actually not going to do very lasting damage. And it's a bit like that with our relationship with God because you know, God is a God. He's a He's a loving Father. He's um, just this amazing heavenly Father, and He wants to bless His kids. And if you really think about it, wow, what are we blessed with? You know, if you think about all the things that God has done for us over the years, and I think I've said in a previous devotion, even the things that you don't really notice because they're everyday things. You know, your food on your table, your home, your family, um, money in the bank, even if it's only a little bit of money. You know, he, he supplies your needs. Um you know, we've all got amazing testimonies of things that God has done for us over the years. And so when we hit those bumps in the road, basically we've built that good account up with our Heavenly Father that those bumps, they, they don't have a massive lasting effect because we can come back to him, we can come back to his his grace, his love, his forgiveness, his benevolence in our lives. And I think, you know, a part of what Paul is saying is that when you are faced with times of anxiety, he's saying, don't be anxious. It's not a try not to be, or if you can, you know, it'd be really helpful if you weren't. It says, don't be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving so we can bring our requests to god 
we can say, Lord, help me. I don't know what you're doing, miss. But it's also backed up with, but I also know, God, that you are, that you do, that you have said and that you have promised. And so, and he says, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. So if you're in a position that you don't understand, if you're in a situation that you don't understand, by giving thanks, by giving, you know, by offering your prayers and your petitions with thanksgiving, he in um, response to that will fill you with his peace. And that transcends all understanding, understanding of your situation, our understanding of, of you know, everything basically in our thinking. And it says that then guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And he carries on to give us a very clear instruction that whatever is pure, whatever um, is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy. So my challenge has been, and my challenge to you, is that today, if you are faced with a situation where it feels a little bit overwhelming or you're a bit anxious about something that's going on, then try and think about things in those categories, something that is praiseworthy. What have you got to say thank you to God? What is there that you can think about that is lovely? It could be that you look in your garden and there's a particularly beautiful flower that you know God's created. Whatever is admirable, looking at the people around you, the good qualities in them, rather than the negative, rather than the, the stuff that we tend to hone in on. And then I know, because the promise is here, that the peace of God that transcends all understanding will dwell in you. Have a really good day.